Howdy Tinker Nerds! In my next Tinker Nut tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make a motion detecting squirt gun using parts that you can find from a grocery store. The only problem with this method is that some of those parts have very limited functionality. For instance, the Glade Sensen Spray can only detect shadows and it waits several minutes before it can trigger again. So in this video, I'm also going to show you how to make a motion detecting squirt gun, but this time I'm going to be using an Arduino and a PIR motion sensor to give you more control over the motion sensing aspect of it. Alright, let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. A RAID Auto Trigger Bug Repellent Sprayer, an Arduino, a PIR motion sensor, an MPN transistor, and a diode. You also need some miscellaneous wires and a breadboard. The first thing we want to do is take apart one side of the auto trigger and remove the batteries. You'll see a motor with a bunch of gears connected to the spraying device. You want to disconnect the wires from the battery holder and to make it easier you may want to extend these wires. Lastly you want to attach a straw to the nozzle to lengthen it so that we can feed water to it more easily. Next, we wire up the PIR motion sensor. It's pretty simple. These three pins go here, ground, 13, and 12. After that, let's start plugging stuff into the breadboard. First, the transistor. You want to run a wire from this leg to the ground port on the Arduino. Then wire the middle leg to pin 3. For the third leg, first run a wire to one side of the motor. Then connect a diode to it with the stripe facing away. Now from the other end of the diode, run a wire to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino and another wire to the other end of the motor. Alright, that's it for the hardware. Now let's jump over to the software. Make a new sketch and let's set some new variables. Let's make a variable for the motion sensor's power pin and set it to port 13. Then let's make one for the motion sensor's signal output and set it to pin 12. Lastly, let's set one for the motor controller output at pin number 3. Now let's initialize and set up those pins. The motion sensor's power pin is output only. The input pin is obviously input, and the motor pin should be set to output as well. In order to supply power to the motion sensor, we want to set the digital write setting to high to send it a power signal. On the converse, we want to set the motor digital write to low so that it's not getting any power at first. Okay, for the action part, let's make a loop that reads the output from the motion sensor, and if it's high, then send a power signal to the motor pin. Let's keep it running for a few seconds, and then let's set the power back to low. Alright, now verify it and upload it to your Arduino. If it's successful, whenever you move in front of the motion sensor, it should activate the auto trigger. Now just stick the straw in a cup of water, being careful not to let any of the electronics get wet, and then power up the Arduino. It should start squirting water whenever it detects some sort of motion. Now just find an inconspicuous way to hide it and let the fun begin. Alright, be sure to check out my other Tinkernut video using the store-bought method of making a motion detecting squirt gun. And if you enjoy these videos, please consider liking, subscribing, or donating to my Patreon page. That is it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.